guys, it's Tammy and I'm back for part two of Keto on Steroids. I got a lot of questions yesterday. Um, the two that I'm going to address is one, is this something that you do for life? No, it is not. Once you hit your goal weight, your, per your macro percentages, your calories are going to increase to maintain that weight. Um, number two is this sounds like a low fat diet as the ketogenic diet. You guys know that it's a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet to achieve ketosis. You keep your carbs low on a low fat diet. 20% of your calories are coming from fat on a moderate fat diet. 40% of your calories are coming from fat and because people can't get away from percentages because on this plan, you're counting grams. Your fat percentages is any, going to be anywhere between 50 and 70%, depending on how much weight you have to lose and how quickly you want to lose it. So for me, as an example, I want to lose 30 pounds in 60 days. So my fat percentage is 60%. All right. Follow me. Now we can pretty much agree that the most basic ketogenic, how they set it up, is 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbs. There's one problem with this. Those are maintenance macros. When you hit your goal weight, these are maintenance macros. I cannot stress this enough. If you have over 100 pounds to lose, you do not need to be eating 75% of your calories from fat. Why? Because you have fat on your body that you want to burn for energy, for fuel. So let's get right to it. These are not my calories. <laughs> my calories are way more than this when I am maintaining. So maintenance calories, 2,000 a day, 14,000 a week. So according to this, fat at 75% is 167 grams. It's 1,500 calories. It's 10,500 calories on the week. Protein, 20% is 100 grams, which is 400 calories, 2,800 calories on the week. Carbs at 5%, 25 grams, 100 calories on the day, and 700 calories on the week. Maintenance, maintenance macros. Now, most calculators out there, especially Carb Manager, will put you at an average of 1,200 calories. So this is why people are losing muscle. This is why people are losing their hair. Now pay attention to the protein. So now you go to Carb Manager, plug in all your information, and it comes back with 1,200 calories at maintenance macros. Weight fat loss, 1,200 calories. 8,400 calories on the week. Fat at 75% is 100 grams. That's 900 calories, 6,300 calories on the week. Protein, 20%, 60 grams. That's a 40 gram difference. Of course you're gonna lose muscle. Of course you're gonna lose your hair. It's gonna come out in clumps. You're missing out on 40 grams of protein. That's 240 calories a day, and that's 1,680 calories on the week. Your carbs at 5% are at 15 grams. So that's 60 calories on the day and 420 calories on the week. Once again, when you use the maintenance macros to lose weight, you're going to go down in protein and lose your muscle and lose your hair because you're at 60 grams. So now, keto on steroids. <sighs> because people can't get away from percentages because you're counting grams on this diet. I had to figure out the percentages. So here we go. Keto on roids. Okay, keto on roids. Let's fix this camera. So here we go. This is for 1,200 calories. Just a number I threw out there, okay? So you want 
of your calories coming from fat. Why? Because you also want to calculate the extra fat that you have on your body in your fat grams. Protein, 35%. Carbs, 5%. You want to keep your protein higher on this diet so that way you do not lose muscle, you do not lose your hair, you stay fuller longer, and you get all the benefits from the amino acids. Come on, guys. So when you weight fat loss at 1,200 calories, fat at 60% is 80 grams. That's 720 calories. That's 5,040 calories on the week. Protein, 35%, 105 grams. Now, compare it to the maintenance at 100 grams pretty much the same only a five gram difference but guess what you're not losing your hair you're not losing your muscle you're staying full so that's 420 calories daily that's 2940 calories on the week carbs five percent at 15 grams 60 calories 420 calories on the week. I cannot stress this enough and I'm going to repeat myself. Maintenance calories weight or macros. Weight loss macros. Remember on this diet you want to count grams. You do not want to do percentages. You want to make sure that you get enough protein in to prevent that hair loss. According to this it's pretty much the same. So if you guys have any questions, please put it in the comments below. I will be glad to help you out. Remember, less fat on the plate, the more your body can burn its own fat. I cannot stress this enough. All right, you guys, use your own fat for energy. All right, talk to you later. Bye.